What's going down, everybody? So it seems like we finally, finally getting some new SNES games for the Nintendo Switch. Also, along with some new NES games. Now, the NES games I ain't too hyped about, but these SNES games, gonna be dope. We getting Star Fox 2, which was actually never released. It was released on, uh, I think, the mini console, but they never actually bought the game out, to my recollection. We're getting Super Punch-Out, which I never played. I never played Star Fox 2 either because, like I said, it never came out. Super Punch-Out I've never played, but it looks like it's going to be fun. It's basically Punch-Out, but a little more graphically intense. Then we got Kirby Superstar. Now, Kirby Superstar, I also never played. A lot of the NES games and the SNES games I didn't play because as a kid, I was a, I was a Sega kid. I had all the Genesis games and Master System games and things like that. So these games are new to me. Now, Breath of Fire, I've heard of before, but this looks like it's Breath of Fire 2. So it's one of the old school ones, but it's an RPG. It's turn-based. This is way before Final Fantasy VII and all of those games like that. I think this was probably around the same time as um, maybe Final Fantasy V or VI or something like that. Now, they're also giving us some Nintendo games, which, like I said, they're like, whatever. A lot of those games, they didn't age too well, but this one here looks like it might be all right. Journey to Silius, something like that, which has a silly-ass title. But it looks like it could be kind of cool. It looks like a Mega Man something. Then we got uh, Crystallis, which I'm not even sure what this is. It looks like some sort of Zelda kind of game, but... My, my, I'm probably going to give it a whirl. Every game that comes out on there, I give it a little spin and then forget about it completely. So those were the games that they had. And finally, they gave us some new Nintendo games. All right, y'all. Check you in the next one. Peace.